1896. HMS Pelorus 1896. HMS Pelorus was the first of the Pelorus class cruiser and was laid down at Sheerness Dockyard in 1896. Completed and commissioned to the Royal Navy on 15 December the same year. She was designed by Sir William White. Construction cost 154,315 pounds. The ship was well armed for her size, but was primarily a workhorse for the overseas fleet. HMS Pelorus displaced 2135 tons and had a top speed of 20 knots 37 km slash h. She had reciprocating triple expansion engines and Norman water tube boilers, which could give 7,000 horsepower 5,200 kW for limited periods of time with forced draft and 5,000 horsepower 3,700 kW under natural draft. It carried a crew complement of 224 men and it was armed with 8 QF 4 inch 102 mm 25 pounder guns. 8 QF 3 pounder 47 mm guns, 3 machine guns, and 2 18 inch 450 mm torpedo tubes. Service History Pelorus served in the Channel Fleet under Captain Henry Charles Bertram Hulbert when in February 1900 she joined the Eastern Division of the Fleet. In 1901, the ship was stationed at Gibraltar under the command of Commander Ernest Trowbridge. The following year she paid off at Devonport, had her boilers repaired, and in August was towed to Clyde Bank to be refitted by Messrs. J. Brown and Company in Glasgow. In 1906, the ship was assigned to the Cape of Good Hope Station under the command of Commander James C. Tancred. In 1908 the captain was Arthur W. Craig, 